Why am I wearing a party hat, you ask? Because if you're watching this on the day that it's uploaded, it means that my birthday's tomorrow. That also means that I'm going to be in New York getting on a train to go to Maryland to see Kennedy, who's my friend. And I'm gonna be vlogging the whole thing, so stay tuned for that because I'm so excited. I have not traveled anywhere in a really long time. And I'm really excited because I feel like I haven't had anything to look forward to in a really long time. Today, I'm doing a video that I've actually already done before where I tested a bunch of different clothing items from my sister's clothing brand called Luca and Gray. A brutally honest review of my own sister's clothing brand. Shout out to her and my mom for actually letting me do this video and take some clothes. But I still am going to be very honest about what I think about them and how I feel about them. A lot of these pieces aren't normally stuff that I would wear, so... Let's see what I think about them. Before I get started trying everything on, I wanted to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. You can explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in creativity. The class that I'm currently taking is called YouTube Success, Grip, Shoot, and Edit with MKBHD, who is actually a fellow YouTuber that has a bunch of subscribers, so it's really interesting to just learn about his process of making YouTube videos. I have been making YouTube videos for like six years now, and I'm still constantly Googling things, trying to figure out cooler and newer ways to edit my videos, things that I can do to improve my videos. So this class is literally perfect for me. He talks a lot about how to write scripts, how to plan your visuals, stuff like that, hooking your audience, which obviously to me, since I'm a YouTuber, is something really important. Whether you're looking to fend off boredom, focus on self-care through creativity, or join a similarly creative community, Skillshare is the place to keep you learning. If you want to go check out Skillshare, the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of the Skillshare premium membership. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. So go learn something. Go check out the link in my description. Piece number one. These pants are called the Say by the Bell pants. They are $64. First thing I notice is that these are that stretchy kind of denim, like they're not the stiff denim. These have a very wide flare. Like these are very flared pants. Let's try putting this like not tucking it in. These aren't super high rise. They are high rise, but they don't go like above my belly button. I feel like other high waisted pants that I do have can go above my belly button. So these are high rise. They're just not super, super high. A lot of people are very particular about the kind of rise that they have. I'm wearing a size small. They fit me really well. They fit my waist. They fit my legs. They fit my butt. They make my butt look kind of good, honestly. Y'all seeing that? I wouldn't buy these because they're not my style, but I think if they are your style, then they're good pants. Like they fit really nicely. There's a zipper, it's not like the buttons um, that go all the way up, it's a zipper. I'm 5'8", and these go all the way down to my feet. I very rarely have jeans that go all the way down my legs because they're somewhat long. I feel like if I was in the mood to go for like an edgy country girl aesthetic, these jeans would be like perfect to go with that. Um, with like some cowboy boots or something. This tank top is called the Send My Love. Hello. This tank top is called the Send My Love Tank. It's $42. I don't know if you can see, like it's super stretchy. It's like that, not ribbed material. I don't really know what it is. Like it kind of looks like it could be like a sweater material. This is the back high neck. I think this is cute. I feel like it's a really nice basic. It feels really nice, feels really nice quality. Stretchy, I'm not wearing a boob. <laughs> I'm not wearing a bra and I feel like my boobs still look good. I'm also wearing a size small in this, but I think this is cute. I think it would be cute over like a swimsuit if you're going to the beach, just wearing this is like over your swim top. It could be a really nice layering piece. It could go cute with just like denim shorts for just like a really cute, simple summer outfit. Could go cute with sneakers. You could dress it up a little bit. I don't know. I think it's cute. Could be very versatile. Next piece I have is this little blue sundress. This dress is called the Seize the Daisies dress. It's $56 and I'm wearing a size small. I think sundresses will never go out of style. I think floral will never go out of style. So you can't really go wrong with this. Something I really like about this dress is the length. I'm pretty sure this would be considered a mini dress. I feel like most mini dresses on me because I'm a little bit taller barely go past my butt cheeks. And it's really frustrating because it could be like, you know, cute and hot for a picture or whatever to be practical. If you're walking around, it's really uncomfortable to be wearing something super short but i think this is cute i think it would be cute to go like on a picnic in i think it would be cute to go do something with your friends during the summer 
I like how the waist right here, it's like a that ribbed material, so it kind of like goes in and it could also stretch out more. This is what the pattern looks like more up close. It's this really beautiful blue with like these daisies all over them. No complaints about this either. I think it's really cute. I think it's flattering. It's long enough on me. Okay, this is one of two swimsuits. I never really wear one pieces. I think I only own like one other one piece, but this one just feels so elegant because of like the really open back, the square neckline. And I like how this kind of comes higher up. Like it's not like a, you know, I love this color. This any, I feel like any color of green right now is super popular. There's a little boy looking at me from my window. That's awesome. This is called the plush. I can't remember three words. This is the plush one piece swimsuit. I'm wearing a size small. It's $69. I really like this. I can't really, I can't put my finger on what this material is. Like it kind of feels like, like a bath towel, but like a really nice one. I also really like how the straps are adjustable. I definitely had to adjust them because I don't really have boobs. So there's not really much to fill up right here. I really like this also. Like I don't really have much to complain about it. Like it fits me like a glove. Moving on to this set. This is the Hotline Ringer tee for $47 and the Motel Shorts for $55. I think I just found a new favorite color on myself. I think this blue is so beautiful. I feel like this would also be something that you could wear like to the beach. I was really worried with this because it was white that it was going to be sheer or just like really thin, but it's not. Like you can't really see through anything. Clothing sets are super popular right now. I think this one, I don't know. I think it's really cute. I really like the fit of the shirt. It's like a perfect like baby tee. The shorts are really comfortable. The waistband is super stretchy. I'm wearing a size small in both of these. I don't know. Something about this top is just like really doing it for me. Like I just love the way that this looks. I think it's so cute. I'm going to say that word 10 million times, but I don't care. I think it's really cute. I promise I'm being honest about everything. I just haven't found anything that I don't like so far. So good sign. This is a workout set. It's called the Lavender, no, Level Up Lavender Workout Set. It's $50 for both like top, bottom total, $50. A few pros and a few cons. I love the color. Lavender is always a beautiful color. Number two, I feel like it fits really good on my body. I'm wearing a size small. It just looks really flattering to me, um, but some cons. It's a little bit sheer and it feels a little bit thin to the point where if I like breathed, I feel like it would look like I peed my pants because I would sweat through it so quickly. I don't think I would feel comfortable wearing this to the gym if I was doing an at-home workout. I would wear it in a heartbeat because it's really cute and cute workout clothes always make you want to work out more. Going to the gym, I don't think I could wear this. It's just really thin and the color super light, but it is very stretchy. This, the top also has like a, one of those like sports bra things that like are, you know those tops that like have, it's like already kind of like a sports bra like built into the top. This has one of those, so this has like two layers, which is nice. When I saw that, I thought that it was gonna bug me, but honestly, like I don't even notice. It just makes it feel like more supported up here and a little bit more comfortable. I think this is even super cute to like run errands in. Am I wearing this inside out? Oh shit. Hold on guys, don't look. I don't, sorry, I don't mean to just show you my butt. I don't know if you can see this, but right here, there's like a tag on the outside that's like, I don't know how to even explain it. There's just like texture right here because there's like lettering from the tag, like a printed tag. And it's not super noticeable, but it's like textured so you can like feel it. Um, that's like a little bit odd, but you wouldn't notice from like, no one else would notice unless you were wearing it, but that's that for that. I think it's super cute. Love the color, but I would definitely sweat through this in a millisecond. Okay, both of these are from Luca and Gray. These shorts are the Worth the Hype shorts. They're $56. I'm wearing a size small. Excuse me, $65. I don't know if I said 65 or 55 or 
56. They're 65. This top is called the Upper East Side Emerald Crop Tank for $38. I'm also wearing a size small. Starting off with the shorts. Honestly, I really don't like denim shorts. I've always had a dislike for denim shorts because I couldn't find, I could never find a pair that fit me. They were either way too short or the waist didn't fit or something. I've just never found a pair of denim shorts, but I was like, wow, I'm going to keep these for a long time because they fit me really well. To my surprise, these actually fit me really well. They're not too tight on my waist. The length is good. I really hate like short, short denim shorts just on me, on other people, awesome. Just not my preference to have really short shorts. I just feel really uncomfortable in them. They have these little like just side slits right here. I think that's just like a cute detail. The one thing I don't really like about them is this like, ripping detail. I'm just not a huge fan of that. I feel like it just looks like Forever 21, just like not really my style. But since it's so like minuscule, I don't really mind it. My butt looks nice in them. There's also buttons all the way up. I really like the wash of them. These are really nice denim shorts that I would definitely recommend. This tank top though, I don't really know if I'm vibing with it. I feel like the straps look like they're in an awkward spot. I think the square neckline is cute and the color is beautiful. It's also really comfortable and really stretchy. The straps look like they need to like move out here, just like an inch or so. This is what the back looks like. The more I look at it, the more I think, no, like you're, it's fine. Like it looks cute. I don't know. What do you guys think? I want your opinions on this top. This is the When in Rome top. It's $65 and I'm wearing a size small. I actually really like this. I just don't think it goes with these pants. I think the like puffy shoulders makes this look very elegant. Like it looks very Pinteresty to me. I really love this open back. My back knee is finally going away. Not saying you can't wear open back tops if you have back knee. I used to literally do it all the time, but I like that this is like kind of that ribbed material. So it's super stretchy. The whole shirt is super stretchy. I think this tie right here is a super cute detail. I like the open neckline. I feel like if I styled this with something else, the true potential could be shown. This next top is the Tunnel Vision Lemon Top. It's $30, I'm wearing a size small. Tube tops can either be really hit or miss, I feel like for everyone, depending on the material, because obviously they don't have straps. So usually brands will add some sort of band up here that's a little bit more cinched to make sure that it's not falling off of your body. This does have that and it also has one down here that you can't really see, but it's definitely a little bit tighter at the bottom than it is through like the rest of the shirt. I don't really have any complaints about this, honestly. I think the color's really cute. I could like jump up and down when it's not going anywhere. Okay, maybe slip down a little bit, but like, not bad. Just for like a super basic, like summer top, I think this is really cute and you could pair it with like a bunch of different stuff. I also really like this color on me. I like never wear yellow, but maybe I'll start wearing it more. This is the Once Upon a Time top. It's $44, I'm wearing a size small. I'm not sure how I feel about this top. Right here, if you can see, is just like really puffy. I also think it would be a lot cuter without this tie right here. I don't know if this is like something that anyone else would notice, but it's just this like really puffy right here. I wish it just like laid a little bit more like taut, like more flat. I really like the sleeves though. Like I like the ruffle, I like the neckline. It also has a zipper in the back, which I didn't even have to use it because it is like a little bit stretchy. Like it's a stretchy material. It's really cute. There's just a few details that aren't necessarily my favorite, but that's all I really have to say about this one. Next, I'm wearing this skirt called the Grass is Greener skirt. I'm wearing a size small. It's $56. I feel like longer skirts are kind of coming back into style. Something I like about this skirt is that it doesn't have a zipper. It has like a stretchy waistband. This is also just like really feminine, really beautiful. I love the color. It would be cute with a mini skirt also. I just don't really think long skirts are like really my thing. I just feel like they look kind of weird on me. I really don't have any complaints about this one. I think long skirts for me are just kind of like hard to style. I think that's what it is and why I kind of stay away from them is because I never really know what to wear with them. This is the On The Verge bikini for $58 total for both of these. I, okay, 
Starting with the top. I think the top is so adorable. Like, I think it's so cute. It's just like a really cute style of top. I just wish it was adjustable in some way. Like, I feel like it feels a little bit, it just feels a little bit big. I wish I could tighten it from this tie right here. This doesn't actually tighten anything. It just ties in a bow. So I wish that I could tighten right here just because it feels a little bit loose. I feel like if I bend down, someone could easily like... <laughs> see not going to demonstrate that's my only complaint though is that i wish it was somehow adjustable because i think it's so cute i love the sweetheart neckline i love this little opening right here this is like one of the cutest swimsuit tops i think i have ever seen it also has an open back which i just feel like is super elegant and super cute moving on to the bottoms they are definitely not super full coverage in the front. They're like a little bit more coverage in the back. I like that these strings are adjustable. You can like hide them up your hips or you could do it straight, whatever you feel most comfortable doing. I think I would feel a little bit nervous like swimming a lot in this. Everyone has a different swimsuit coverage preference, obviously, but I just, I really love this top. I think it's so cute. I just wish it was a little bit more adjustable. Maybe I need a smaller size. I think what I wish is I wish that this came up a little bit higher. I just feel like it's really low. Like I wish this just rised a little bit higher and then I feel like I would feel more comfortable in it. This next set is the most pricey items. This is the Strawberry Shortcake set top and skirt. The top is 92 and the skirt is 94. I really like this. I love the material. I love the colors. It honestly reminds me of like those Chanel skirts with like the matching jackets that look like the same material. I just really wish that the top was more fitted. Like it's loose down here. I think if it was more fitted, then it gives it like a whole different look. I wish it just had a little bit more like style to it, if that makes sense. Like I wish there was like a cute cutout or something to just give it a little bit more spice. But overall, I think it's super cute. I love this skirt. Like I think this is just like a really unique set. I don't know. They both are a little bit big on me. Maybe I need to size down, but I feel like a smaller size wouldn't fit. I just wish that it was a little bit more fitted. This is what the material looks like up close. I love the yellow and the pops of pink. I think work really well together. Together. See if it's like loose versus fitted. Like maybe you guys are gonna call me crazy and be like that literally looks the exact same, but I feel like it gives it a whole different look. There is a zipper on the side. These are the little twist stage sandals. They are $44. I wear size eight. This is what they look like. Really cute. This color, I've said it a million times, it's just super in right now. I will mix so many colors together and be like, yes, it looks cute. Like I know that there's not any green in this, but I think it's just a really cute accent color. Let me zoom in. Like, I think this is cute with these. I know it doesn't really match, but I think because it's a lighter green and these are lighter pinks and lighter yellows, I think it works well because it's kind of like in the same color palette. They fit really well, they're comfortable. I don't know, I mean, this is my first time like walking around in them. They stay on my feet like good little shoes should. The last thing that I have is this necklace with these matching earrings. I forgot to ask my mom what these are called, so I'll put the name and the price of it on screen. I feel like everyone has seen different variations of like really cute little beaded necklaces. So this one just has like these, sorry for close up my armpit. This has these really cute beads and has like different colors in between them all. And then this says girls. And then this, this is what the matching earrings look like. Literally pretty much just re-pierced this hole. <laughs> I don't know, I have a hard time finding necklaces and earrings that I really like, so when I saw these and I had an appeal towards them, I was like, okay, I'll take those because I can rarely find necklaces that I really like. I think that was it for this haul. Shout out to my mom and sister for letting me take these clothes. If you guys wanna go check out Luca and Gray Summer Collection, it literally just released today, so go and check that out. Um, also go and check out Skillshare. I seriously tell everyone to use Skillshare. I use it, my boyfriend uses it, I tell my siblings to use it, I tell my friends to use it. The first 1,000 people to click the link down below in my description will get a free month of the Skillshare Premium Membership, and after that, it's only like $10 a month, so go and check it out. Take advantage of this opportunity. There's definitely gonna be a class on there for something that you're already interested, or if you want to find something that you know nothing about and want to learn about there's definitely going to be a class on that too so go check it out we love skillshare thanks for sponsoring me and love you guys peace out kisses bye